start with I Team 8 and some central Indiana families struggling to repair storm damage to their homes. Nearly two months after tornadoes ripped through our area, some homeowners are now running into roadblocks to repairs they desperately need. So they called I Team 8 senior investigative reporter Richard Essex for help. Getting the repairs done after the tornadoes came through southern Indiana has been a challenge. There's been labor shortages, supply chain issues, and now people are fighting with their insurance companies. I'm in a pretty dire situation at this point because uh, I've had to reach out to FEMA and to SBA to potentially fix this on my own dime, even though I pay my premiums monthly. Anthony Bruce says his insurance company isn't covering the storm damage to his roof. He qualified for an SBA loan to fix the damage. He says the high winds damaged the roof a few days before a tornado did even more damage. The winds peeled the shingles off in a half dozen places along the front of his house, exposing the wood decking that protects the frame of the house. His insurance company has sent two different adjusters to assess the damage. Both came up with different conclusions. I've reached out to them multiple times asking for appraisals on the roof. I've reached out to them to ask for um, potentially like having a new adjuster to come out. They've sent one other adjuster. Uh, he found more damage than the prior. Um, State Farm just isn't wanting to play ball on this and no, none of us can figure out why. Bruce says the shingles are 22 years old and near the end of their expected service life. Contractors have told him they can't make partial repairs because the existing shingles are brittle and they tear. He is faced with replacing the entire roof. Many of his neighbors who have different insurance companies have had their roofs replaced and or damaged repaired. I was told another neighborhood about a half mile from his had several homes damaged by the storm. Many of the homes have new roofs and piles of roofing material are sitting in the front yard of another home waiting for workers. Today, contractors were putting on gutters and finishing the repairs to a duplex that had been heavily damaged by the tornadoes. Just a few doors down from that one, a home without a roof. I was told the owner is getting the runaround from an insurance company. And right around the corner, another house covered with tarps waiting for repairs. Again, I was told an insurance company is holding up the repairs. From the street, the damage to Bruce's home may not look as bad as many of his neighbors. But he says the longer his roof goes without repairs, the more damage that is done to the wood frame. I'm, I'm at the point I'm at the point where there's I'm running out of time. Estimates to repair the roof is around eleven thousand dollars. His SBA loan will cover the cost, but he hopes he doesn't have to use it. In Martinsville, Richard Essex, Wish TV, ITMA.